Hi, this is Brian Wilson with BFW Classroom, and I want to revisit a video from a month ago where we look at the new features in Adobe Express called Classroom and Assignments. I hope you enjoy. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and like button. Now, when creating a new class, you just hit the Create Class. Type in a name. It doesn't matter whatever you want to call the class. Here I'm using World Studies as just a placeholder. And then when you think about it, just like before, make sure you pick your uh, class tiles. One thing I wanted to show is that make sure you have your class names be specific to you. So if there's two US history classes using this, you might want to make sure your, your name's there. And then also put the period. Since this is an after school activity, I put ESS. You can put in any number. It will accept any option here. Now here you can see we're in the new class and you could create a brand new assignment like I showed in my previous video, but that's not what we're going to look at today. What we're actually going to do is go back out of here and look at an assignment from a different class and pull it into this classroom. So in my advanced government class, I had students work on creating a new book cover for John Lewis's uh, graphic novel, March. And what I wanted to do was show you how to copy that assignment over. So you go in, you click the ellipses, and then when you see this, you'll have a listing of choosing the classrooms that you have. You also go ahead and assign a new date here, and then when you hit Save Draft, it will share all of the assignment to the new classroom that you've assigned it to. It's important when you do these assignments that you go back and check to see what it looks like for a student's perspective. So here I'm going into World Studies, I'm opening the assignment, and then you can see I also gave attachments. This book series has three different covers. This is an alternative cover assignment. So I provided all three JPEGs in case they wanted to use them inside of the generative image AI option. They could switch the images out to give it a different context. It's also important to give details to students while they're doing these projects in the descriptions because you don't know if you'll be in the classroom with them when they might be working on it. Again, this is Brian Wilson with BFW Classroom. Check out one of my other videos dealing with Adobe Express or maybe Google Workspace. And I hope you enjoyed these. Uh, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button before you leave. And go out there and keep creating.